Hello, I'm Satoshi Yamamoto. Welcome back to my time bench. Uh, today I'd like to do a kind of newer beetle pattern for me. Uh, it's called a, a folded foam beetle. Uh, that's exactly what it is. Um, again, uh, beetle is uh, one of the most underestimated and underused uh, fly patterns um, among fly anglers uh, uh, during summer months. Number one is because the hopper is so popular. And then um, <clears throat> um, beetles are usually, beetle patterns are usually tied in black and it's really hard to see. So, uh, but uh, I really like the uh, beetles, you know, every time I, every, uh, I, during summer months when I pump the stomach um, of a trout, I often times I found uh, uh, lots of beetles. And then uh, let's tie on size 14, uh, dry fly hook, die wiki 320. I'm using a 8 thread, 6 or should be fine. Fast a form, make sure it's long enough, and then just about a, a hook gap length, uh, width, and uh, I kind of taper down uh, where I tying because it makes things a slightly easier. Then I'm gonna tie in um, uh, five or uh, four or five or six uh, peacock holes, depending on the size. Uh, I'm sorry, depending on the length. This happens to be uh, really short ones. Um, pretty much the end of the package. Do they still work. So I estimate uh, just about two thirds. Of the hook shank lengths, that would be uh, my uh, rear body. Uh, this is gonna be a nice underbody that trout uh, going to see actually. There we go. Right. Okay, what I'm going to do next is uh, slightly tricky but not difficult. I'm going to pull in and un estimate. Um, uh, I'm going to, I'd like to pull through this um, form, you know, through the hook shank. So I'm going to punch the hole. But um, if I punch the hole right at here, uh, there's going to be a gap. So I'd say one, but then again, too short. Two behind, it's hard to pull. Form might break, so um, maybe one or two um, uh, hook eye length behind. I'm gonna and in the middle of the. Uh, like that. Then, hoping that home doesn't break, I gently pull and go through this. Uh, Hook eye, here you go. I succeeded without breaking the uh, no, slightly I push back here. So there's no gap. Uh, there's no gap in uh, here, you know, apparently gap. I don't think so. There you go. So I'm going to up with the two wraps. Then same thing, I wanna now I'm pull it back. So it's already marked by the hook eye, so I'm gonna punch again. For now, it's just there. We go. I'm gonna move my thread forward by wrapping like this, and I'm gonna cinch this um, um, see the uh, hook eye still uh, 
uh, protruding I'm going to wrap here maybe two, two twice or so then I move my thread again diagonally which is going to be covered there we go now uh, make sure to apply this uh, cement here Okay, now I'm gonna tie in uh, synthetic fibers as a wing. Um, I use this is the EP fiber right at my hand, uh, right at hand. So, and also mac fly long. And then uh, I'm gonna show you the example at the end. But I changed the color of the wing, which Trout doesn't really care or see, uh, by the size of the. Um, uh, size of the you know fly I'm tying this is a size 14 I'm using this a uh, pink you know pink one yet uh, lightly pink one this is size 16 I'm using a uh, um, I'm using a green you know mock fly long so uh, Fold back here. Then now I fold the form. There we go. Make probably make three wraps. Then cinch. You want to have a. We want. We like to have a really ra nice round head. So this should be a set. Here we go. Cut the wing already. Okay, now legs. I'm using a um, uh, really small uh, black rubber leg. I first tie in the far side from me, right along the uh, side of the body. Oh, in this, you know, uh, where thread has been applied here. There we go. Now I do the same on my uh, near side. And up until this will be where I'm gonna apply a whip finish. Make sure two or three wraps in between just to hold. Then again, it's kind of recommended to apply a cement at the end or along this. Uh, um, um, uh, we finish, you know, that's this uh, thread area. I simply go among the, um, uh, go among the uh, legs. I don't really, you know, uh, separate two and two in the back, I just go right along because, um, it's going to distribute the uh, legs are going to be distributed e evenly anyway so let me cut fast before I uh, uh, swivel my uh, vice see so randomly this is just nice again uh, fish doesn't care or count can count whether the beetle have six legs or eight legs this one really works and then this wing very visible so and then it floats really well because of the form. So, um, uh, this 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 uh, fish can be uh, this fly can be fished you know, by itself because it's so visible. Or um, uh, again, uh, uh, trail behind the hopper pattern. So, um, so try this pattern where uh, wherever beetle is abundant or expected. So, thank you for watching.